Alrighty. Looks like we got him. That's what's up, baby. That's what's up. Um, yeah, let's talk about Ryan Woolridge for a little bit. Um, obviously, you know, he's a grad transfer. He went to Gonzaga, committed to Gonzaga, and he came from our glorious university to go play for Gonzaga. You know, he's a, he's a share the ball, play defense type guy, um, and he was just what Gonzaga needed. Um, in the games that I saw live and in person, um, it was pretty good. He was pretty good. He did, he did what he needed to do, and he did what he needed to do. And um, yeah, he, he just did his job pretty well as a guard in, in McCaslin's offense of mostly guards. But you know, um, you know, as far as you know, him actually going to Gonzaga, um, I'm not sure what other UNT guys think about it, but, you know, guys who follow um, UNT basketball or anything like that, I'm not sure, I think it's, it's, it's a, it's a good deal, it's a good, it's a good thing that he went and committed to Gonzaga, and now he's gonna play this year, um, for the Zags, he'll, he'll probably, he'll probably get another number one seed or something like that before the you know, with Gonzaga this time around. I mean, it's inevitable at this point. The perennial power that Gonzaga is, it's just that, you know? But, you know, hopefully, um, hopefully things as far as UNT basketball goes, because um, I was very disappointed with the basketball team's effort, you know? during the last, like, what, 10 games or so where it was just nothing but losses and bad play and injuries. So, yeah, we got we still got a long wait till college basketball season, though, so we'll, we'll be right here waiting some more news. Maybe t maybe talk about something that UNT did or something like that on another, on another day, but that's all I wanted to get out because I needed to get this video out real quick. So with that being said, peace.